Hey, what's up guys, this is Team Brawl here, and I wasn't expecting to do a video today, but I just hit down on Mong Shun's final that Fairy Tale just got released today, and it looks like we're in Disney Valley, this it came out on Friday, now on a Saturday, like I was intent, like I was expecting it to be, it looks like they're really pushing forward with the ending to Fairy Tale, since we're only nine chapters away from the front of the series finale of it, however, it doesn't really have the this one how they quickly release this chapter on Friday, not on a Saturday. I kind of get the feeling that we might expect a rush ending of Fairy Tale, but I hope it's not the case. But either way, we have a Fairy Tale chapter, 537, and we're going to continue where we left off with not to find the being Zareth, but not really actually defeat him yet, leaving Mayos up to Zareth, and we might get the final battle between the five Dragon Slayers and Agnologia. Maybe, but he's locked in the remains of time. So anything can happen to this point. But with nine times left, we'll see how the story progresses to the end. So without further ado, let's get right to it. And we start a bit of a cover page here of the new fairy tale of Fairy Tale. Back to when fairy during the memories of Fairy Tale 10, the Fairy Tale memories, when he met Endless. When the new character when the main at least not too happy Carly uh, Carla Wendy, Urza, Lucy, and Grey, we can guide you into the world of Edelus, the parallel world. And we meet the character, we meet the complete opposites of their own characters. And it was also the turn of seeing Lozana, who actually ends up being a lie. And it was also the, the arc where Grey meets, no not Grey, Gajil meets Panther Lily and becomes his partner. And seeing how the like, exceeds how Happy and Carla came from. The X Seeds. I'll admit, Ellis was not my favorite arc, but I guess my favorite arc in Fairy Tale will have to be the Dragon Invasion arc. Yeah, I don't know. That. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Maeve's and Zeref. Maeve's looking down on Zeref. At their feet. At the far reaches of love and hate. The original two, Maeve's and Zeref, weave together. A final answer. My body, I can't move a muscle. Did I lose? Natsu really is something. What's the rest about it? Instantly, his wounds didn't heal instantly yet. Yep. But again, I'll say you pretty much lost this. But he's also a bit foolish. I will re. re I will be reincinerated, as m as I have been many times. Might eat even these wounds give me a few minutes and I'll be healed. Zareth, you made my friends suffer. You've hurt them. I can't forgive that. At the f as the first master of fairy tale, as someone who has believed in the bonds of family thicker than blood, I want nothing more than to erase you from this world. Death by your hand doesn't sound all bad. No, just rest. If you really can't, if only back then, if I only believed in you more. What do you mean? You loved me. And as proven, and because of the curse of current of contradiction, my life was stolen away from me. But despite that, but despite the fact that you're under the same curse as me, I wasn't able to steal away your life. Some part of me must have must have not believed you. I didn't have enough strength to, enough to love. There's no need to worry about all that now. I've never been loved by anyone. Okay, I'm not making this sound like a freaking soap opera right now. No, not passion, contradiction! Because I met you, I learned how to use magic. Because I met you, I saved Magnolia. Because you were there, Fairy Tale was founded. You were everything I looked up to. And yet, you brought death and imprisoned my life. You hurt my friends. And you tried to use me to destroy Fairy Tale. I hate you so much. And yet, I love you too. Okay, now we're really going to sub opera territory with this. My thoughts are, in, are dissonant. I cannot calculate what I ought to do. If I loved you, I'd be able to kill you. If I, tr 
if I truly thought of you as a de as dear, from the depths of my heart, I'd be able to kill you. That was my plan. And yet, Mavis. But I don't want two to die. I want you to stay together forever. I want us to stay together forever. Oh, and she's tearing it, too. The dearer you hold in a person, person's life, the more you steal away from them. So that's, that's what was all wrong. All wrong. The answer was, thank you, Mavis. I'm sorry. You can't die! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you so much! You destroyed my guild! You killed Makra! You hurt my friends! Go on a rampage! Like, and patting away and shit. Die! 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 Don't love you in the, in the least! Just die already! Don't show your face to me ever again! I don't love you! I don't love you! You're an enemy of my guild! You're an enemy of the world! So please! Die! Oh my god! Don't die! Oh my god! Okay, right now this is really going very heavy soap opera territory here. She kissed him. I'm so very sorry. I, I'm so very happy because of you. I finally be able to get some sleep. Is he? Wait, is he seriously fading? Is he? I wish you can. I wish we could talk. Could have talked more. I wish I could have made things right with Natsu. Take me, take me with you, Zeref. You must live on. Do you really believe that? From the bottom of your heart. Yes. Crap. It looks like. The curse is taking you too. Let's go together, Zeref. Mavis. Oh my god, they both died. They both died together. It's so warm. Of course, silly. We're inside fairy tale after all. I see. So this is what it means to die. A part that even the immortal can't best. Yeah, our best. Well, some love. The unifying magic. Is the fight over? I'm only locks his nose in. So he... Wait, 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 wait! I must have been dreaming. How? How? Okay! I know that death is like something I'm fleeing in Matt and Fairy Tale because I have the bullshit moments like with... Okay, Julia's blood, tr the fact that Wendy saved Julia before she died was right in the nick of time for that. was nick of time, could have sworn I thought we've lost Grey Dragon and the Dragon Invasion, but time was reversed. And we thought Gadja was there too because of the whole Black Void thing, but now that Makarov is alive. How did he get back alive? Was he, was he asleep the whole time? Was he asleep? What? Where are you sleeping the entire time? After using fairy law, you cannot possibly be sleeping after fairy law. Well, at least everyone. You're alive! Gramps. I had the strangest of dreams. A warm life force was coursing through me. A barefoot girl and a jet black boy. We're playing ever so joyfully. An eternity of sadness has come to an end. An eternity of smiles begins. Oh, okay. Okay. So apparently Makarov is not dead. He's alive. Don't know exactly how the hell he came back alive, but apparently he said that a life force from Mavis and Zeref combined must have brought him back to life. If that was the case, that's the most undescribed way of bringing someone back to life ever since Dalal and Julia's supposed death. But this makes no sense. I think this is like one of those, makes no sense whatsoever. But 
Finally, Zara is now officially dead, so he's officially out of the equation, but all that's left is just Agnologia, but he's in the ravines of time, but he might escape, or at least someone. But then again, we're only nine chapters away, but next week we'll have eight left. So that was the end of Fairy Tale. That was a strictly heavy, those are strictly more of a heavy Mayos and Zara moment. They both died together officially. So now, we can rest easy to find that Zara is not defeated. And first of all, the Alvarez Empire is now officially dealt with some soldiers still left in the battlefield. But Agnolia still remains as a bigger threat. We'll see what happens next time until in the next chapter. So until then, leave a like, subscribe, comment below, share this with a friend, and I'll see you all then. Laters!